What made you decide to create the Capable Gentleman? Uh, that was a long time coming. Um, my brother's been a big part of this, this online presence that I have. He had been encouraging me for so long and I didn't know what to do. Um, look, for a while there, I had a Twitter handle that was called Buzzdar2. Which is one of my questions. I mean, clearly that's a play on drunk 3PO, mm -hmm. right? I mean, you know, he's taller, so he's drunk 3PO. I'll be the shorter buzzed R2 with the dome, right? So oh, I thought it was um, buzz because you were just lightly drunk. <laughs> I always thought it was lightly drunk. Buzz. No, it's hairstyle. I never put two in. Wow. I've never put two and two together. I always just thought, I was like, oh, yeah, he's just always slightly. Like, he's buzz. He's tipsy. I mean... It works both ways, whatever. Wow, I've never realized it. <laughs> so, yeah, so he was a big part of that. And he's like, you you got to start your channel. Because a lot of times he'd come over to my house. Um, and I'd always be working on something. And then other times he would come over because he needed help with something. Like, man, my car's making a funny sound. Can you look at it? You know, whatever. And he's just like, he's always telling me, you need to just make a video and put it up there and see what happens. And, um, I just, I really, for the longest time thought no one's going to care. Why, why would I do that? No, nobody cares. But then it, it, it really hit me a, a few times when like I sat down and, and thought things through, do I really want to do this? Do I really want to establish an online presence? And, um, it, there's been youth, young men in my life who have asked me, how do I, how do I, that's their question. Just how do I, and I could show them. I, I have a neighbor, um, who is basically opened up saying, I, I don't know how to do anything. And I've got my, my son entering his teen years. And you know, if you're working on your car, can you show him, can you show him what you're doing? So I have him over and he'll help me just do simple things to the car, like changing the oil. You know, I'm, I'm teaching, you know, somebody a lot younger than I am who, um, probably, um, needs to know this stuff. I'm all over the place here. Let me answer that again. I'm showing somebody like my, my, my neighbor's kid. And so from there, it's like, wow. If my neighbors ask me to teach his kid, maybe there is something that I could put out on YouTube to help out the young men of the world. Mm -hmm. You know, that's kind of that's where I was trying to go with it. And I just kicked it off. And now I'm always doing something. And whether it's around the house, whether it's in the garage. Um, and so I just try to capture it on video and throw it out there. I think my as of this interview. My, my most recent video, I'm sewing a button on my sport mm -hmm. coat. But people don't know this stuff. Honestly, your videos are so much fun to watch because you're energetic and you're positive. And I'm like, yeah, let's go, Lee. What are we doing today? <laughs> <laughs> I love the, it. the hard part about it, though, that I'm finding is like you have to have something to do. In order to mm -hmm. fix something, something needs to be broke. So I'm like looking around my house going, something broke. I can do a video. <laughs> what needs to be fixed? You know? Untwist this um, light bulb. Hey, honey, don't mind me. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny you that. said that because I do have a light bulb in the in the garage that needs to be replaced. But See? 